my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fantastic. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Very interesting artwork and a name for a beer. Oh, look at this. It's not my first rodeo. It's my second. Now, this is brewed by the Hoof Hearted Brewing Company, located in Moringa, Ohio. This is not for lightweights. This is a triple IPA that checks in at 10% alcohol by volume. It'll knock your socks off and throw you under bus a bit, baby. <laughs> There's no date stamp on the bottom, as is traditional with these beers from Hoof Hearted. And let's go ahead and open it up real slow. There we have it. We're going to go ahead and use this 20 ounce imperial pint glass for this 16 ounce beer. Oh, it's a very light color. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and straighten her out a bit so we make some nice frothy foam. You got to slow your roll though. If you pour it straight in for the entire pour, you're going to have way more foam than you know what to do with. Well, it surprised me because it's a rather hazy light colored orange now it has that nice frothy head on it because i made it that way yeah i've been to bars where i've ordered something in a can or a bottle and the bartender brings it over and pours it oh so carefully down the side of the glass making absolutely no foam at all and i've pushed it back and said i don't want this you have to release the co2 that's in a can or bottle. If you don't release the CO2 and allow the, the bubbles to rise to the top, after a while, you're gonna have that bloated feeling. And that's what happens with so many people who drink straight from the can or bottle. They go to a bar, have a couple beers, and they say, oh, I'm bloated. Yeah, that's because you haven't released that CO2, no doubt. All right, there we go. It's all in there now, baby. Beautiful, beautiful. Now on the camera there, it doesn't quite show the lovely color here that I have in front of me, but it's a lovely orange color. Light, but still a lovely color. Very beautiful, rocky head on there, beautiful. Let's see what kind of aroma we have. Oh, we. <laughs> yeah, we got some serious hops working in here in a very dank aroma. I think this is going to be a knockout beer. Yeah, before I drink this and get knocked out and put under the bus all night, let me thank the brewers at Hoof Hearted Brewing Company there in Moringa, Ohio, for all the hard work that they put in to bring this brew to market. Many thanks to them, and cheers to you at home, no doubt. Oh, man. Mm, Jonathan. I know you're watching this beer review up there in good old New Jersey. I'm going to get a can of this, a few cans, maybe a four-pack and send it to you. This beer wasn't cheap, though, but I don't care. Uh, 5.16 for a 16-ounce can, but it's well worth it. Ooh, wait. Mmm. Wow. Ooh, it is strong. It's not boozy. It's not boozy. But I can get a little bit of warmth from the alcohol. I feel that warmth spreading through my chest area. <laughs> Woo wee. This would have been a good beer a few months ago when we had those below zero temperatures, baby. Mm. I get some tropical fruit in here, but not a lot. Yeah, those hops, whatever they are, are overpowering everything in here. I'm getting a dry, bitter finish, but not overly dry and not overly bitter. This is a great rendition of a West Coast style IPA, at least in my opinion, with a touch of tropical fruit. Now, it's not a New England style IPA with all those all those hazy tropical fruits thing going on? No. Mm -mm. This is dank. D-A-N-K. Mmm. 
It's a sipping beer, though. You notice how I'm drinking it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's not a straightaway beer. No. Hey, it's not my first rodeo. It's my second. No doubt about that, baby. Hoofhearted Brewing Company. Don't know the distribution network on this beer. <clears throat> Pardon me. But if you can find it, it's well worth the search. Hey, I'm going to get out of here. But before I do, I have to tell you, life is short. Let's be happy. If you don't like that beer, that's okay. It's not for you. It's not for everybody. Drink what you like. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers.